Scenic West Bank. We're not gonna start accosting people again. It's another session of Street Beat. We're at Freak Central over in Folktown. We're right across from uh, the Riv. We're here, vegetarian food and uh, whatnot. The band at the Five Corners. So uh, we're gonna start accosting people. So let's, uh, should we take a walk, Ed? Are you pro-choice or pro-life and why? I'm pro-choice. Okay, why? Because it's a woman's body, and I don't think that the government should tell you what to do with it. Pro-choice. Why? Because it's a it's a basic human right to decide what you, what's going to happen with your own body, and I think that basically it's no one else's business. Well, actually, it's kind of weird because I was adopted, and you'd think I'd be like the strongest pro-lifer of them all, but I don't think anybody has the right to tell anybody else whether they should or should not have a baby. So, I don't know. Okay, thanks I for answering that. I exist, but, you know, I think my mother should have had the choice. Pro-choice, but I, I certainly wouldn't be the pro-choice activist uh, type. I, I've got a lot of mixed feelings about abortion, basically. Ultimately, I think it's, I guess I believe that it's uh, the individual woman's choice to make those kind of personal decisions. Oh, I'm pro-choice. Why? Well... It's time to move on into the from the Middle Ages. Um, I'm pro-choice. Pro-choice? Any particular reason? <laughs> I'm pro-choice because no one has the right to make decision for you. And I'm not saying that's a good idea to have abortion because you don't want to be pregnant, but it's your choice. Let's say I think that the uh, person should have the right to choose and leave it at that. Pro-choice, definitely. Pro-choice, why? Because I think women have the right to, you know. Um, be in charge of their own bodies. I don't want some government telling me whether, whether I can or cannot have babies. Yeah, I can understand. You feel the same way? Um, I'm not quite as strong on <laughs> the pro-choice side, but I'm, I am pro-choice. Are you pro-choice or pro-life and why? No comment. Stop and be on my TV show, please. Are you pro-choice or pro-life and why? Pro-choice. Why? Because nobody has the right to determine what other people should do. Excuse me, sir, could I ask you one question when we're on a TV show? But we don't want you on our show anyways. Dude, can I ask you a question from my show, man? You think, you think bars should stay open later? That they should change the law so that bars would stay open a little later so that musicians can make more money and play longer? And sure. Absolutely. Cool. 2 o'clock. 2 or 2.30? Absolutely. Oh, I don't know. I never go there at that time of the night, so it doesn't bother me one way or the other. I think probably 1 o'clock is uh, sufficient. You can get your drinking done by that time, and otherwise you can go home and drink. So I don't have any... No strong feelings about it, really. I think bars should be open till 2 or 3, and coffee shops should be open all night. Let's get some of that all-night stuff downtown so people have a place to go. Yeah, they could even stop selling liquor at 1 and keep the bars open. Yeah. That's an idea. All right, like they did during the Super Bowl, you know. Excellent. Oh, I surely do, especially since I get off work at 1. I'm under 21, but I still think it's okay. Well, you got cool sunglasses, so it don't matter. Do you think bars should stay open when you get <laughs> when you start sneaking into them next year and shit? You know, how late? You mean? Well, like you know, like two thirty or three, like what they were doing with the Super Bowl when they had the Super Bowl happening. Yeah, definitely. So did y'all go out and kill some of these animals to do this? Uh, I haven't. Uh, some of the other people might have done these. Most of these are bought uh, just because it's easier. Yeah. We're busy uh, spending our time doing the reenactment part in front of the public. So. Of the white man raping the earth. <laughs> Just kidding, G. <laughs> we come up from Cedar Riverside because we thought people had an open mind up here. And I must say, most people did, Scotty. Man, but we got totally dissed up here, man. We got dissed for a little while. But anyways... People are peeping us, acting like we're freaks and shit. I don't dig it, you know? Well, we are freaks. Anyway. <laughs>